Okay, yeah, so survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. That's a cool concept. So how does survival of the fittest, uh, you know, in, 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 in our reality, survival of the fittest is like one of the greatest theories, uh, you know, uh, Darwin. Yeah, it makes the most sense, evolution. Evolution, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. It's, it's the theory of evolution. Oh. And the reason is that um, the species that adapt their environments uh, survive. survive. Yeah. yeah. There's a different way of looking at it in theory of thought. So that's one of the cool things about thought theory is, uh, is we're going to look at it differently. We're going to look at it in terms of relationships. If you look at um, two species, mm. and we'll say that they're both made up of six circles. Mm. And one of the set of circles has eight lines that bind the circles. Yeah. So you have a like a network of six circles connected by eight lines. Eight lines, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, and that would represent the dodo that went extinct. And then you'd have another set of circles represent uh, you know chicken or something, mm. something that didn't go extinct. Competed probably better it would be something competing against the dodo. But anyways, so but it had more lines. It had let's say it has fifteen lines. So one has six lines, one has fifteen lines. Or you could even say one has six lines, maybe one has a hundred lines. So then you start getting to really huge magnitudes of difference. Right. And you know, they might just both be birds. They might both look very similar, but one might have way more lines. And those lines are relationships. And it's tough to quantify exactly or, you know, explain exactly what those are, but you know, it could be physical attributes, it could be their ability to you know eat multiple different types of food right exactly versus you know connected like not just to one seed but to different seeds exactly right yeah, yeah. yeah. so that would be many relationships yeah. if i can eat you know eggs and leaves yes you know and then one's only eating eggs it, 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 I have more relationships you know the one that I eat both so right. yeah so it's so you start adding up these relationships and you end up having one group that has a hundred lines one that has ten lines Sorry, I just keep changing the lines. But the point is this, is that what you end up doing is, is over time. So you take the lines and you, and you lay them out in one long line and you get, you get 100 lines. Don't say they're all the same length. We're going to keep it very simple. Mm -hmm. And then you have 10 lines. So you know that the, the one with the 100 lines is very long yeah. and the one is, is very short. And what happens is that if, if, if there's something with time and it... And it can do all, it can, it kind of goes through all the relationships at the same time for, you know, whatever reason, at every instant in time. So at every moment, it just calculates all of them. So both organizations, this one goes through 10, this one goes through 100, same amount of time. What happens is that one organization, when you start adding up those 100, 100, 100, 100, and you do 10, 10, 10, 10, after a certain amount of moments... It's very, one of the organizations, it's much further along. Yeah. There's, the lines have, have just blown away the other one. Yeah. Orders of magnitude apart. Just orders of, yeah, orders of magnitude. And it's kind of like a race at that point. So it's like if you're, you know, on the edge of the one that's very far away, you're going to look back and the one, the other one is so far at that point. It's, it's behind you. It's just way back there. You can barely even see it. You can't see it. And that would be the best analogy for extinction and for survival of the fittest. So the things that don't have the relationships do not go as far in time as the ones that do. And if they don't make it very far, they appear to die off. And that would kind of be a, a rule of uh, in mind space. It would be, and it has to do with these masses. So the amount of lines are really, um, a way to explain how the masses are growing in the space and then it becomes a reflection thing. Remember we're talking about how the masses reflect the physical reality. So if the masses are very big, the things that we see around us are going to reflect those things. Yes, yeah, it's just more of it. There's going to be in more of it. Yeah. yeah, so if the ratios change, so if you have two circles that are the same but over time one grows much bigger than the other, we're going to see a lot more of those things around us the than the small one. circle. Yeah. And that's exactly what survival of the fittest is and, and, and competition. It's this, the, the growth of these circles. So if the circle, and it's based on relationships, so if the circles grow uh, you know, disproportionately, the small ones, they, they will disappear. Like from, from reality, like we won't be able to see them anymore. So the dodo, 
uh, we'll, we, will ne- we will not see dodos anymore mm. because it is too small, because it has not traveled long, far enough over enough moments of time. Right, so, so in the abstract space, the dodo as its pattern kind of exists, but that pattern is so small, so minuscule, that its reflection in the physical world is essentially nothing. Exactly. Yeah. So we, as our much, much larger groupings of circles and lines, the scale we see things on is, is just too big to see something that small. Yeah. 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 And yeah, they just, they just disappear. So, you know, you, these circles just keep getting bigger and the ones that don't get bigger, the networks, because they're just networks. Everything's just a network. So if the networks don't evolve, uh, they don't add more nodes, they don't add more lines, mm-hmm. they just disappear. You know, and that's you see that with like network effect now with you know all these social media networks. Sure. Uh, you yeah. know, they don't add the people to, to build the networks, the relationships. Those things die off MySpace. Yeah. You, you know, it just you know that when Facebook came and created all the connections and connected everybody and added all the information and everyone was like, it's a big friend, a bigger critical mass. Well, they both reach critical mass, but Facebook's growth kind of outpaced MySpace's growth. Yeah to the point where it looked like MySpace had disappeared entirely exactly. and Facebook was just yeah. so big. Yeah, exactly. It just, that's what it looks like in reality. It's, it's a reflection issue. It's not a, it's not, they're not dying per se. They're disappearing. No, no, no people, because people still know what MySpace was or is, you know. Yeah, they know. people still use, I mean, I, guess yeah, I imagine it's still <laughs> someone's still using <laughs> it. Um, and, and we just give them reasons, like they'll disappear. We'll be like, oh, well they died in, you know, meteor, or they'll die in, they died from a disease, mm-hmm. they died from this, they disappeared because of this. But those are just uh, reasons, effects. It doesn't, it, that, that, that's what we're talking about, right? Like, uh, it's just, that just becomes a probability of like how it died or how it disappeared. Right, it, right. It doesn't matter. Like, it, it matters per se, but it's really because the circle just got so small. And then it, it just died for whatever reason, like it was because of this or that or the other. That kind of doesn't matter. But that's the label, that's the kind of interpretation we put on it. Yeah, we um, just label the reason. Right, because we just, we, we look for patterns and reasons and that. But um, we look for an explanation, yeah. you know. Uh, but essentially, the, the theory of thought, as you've explained it to me, has already given that explanation, has already occurred. Um, what we then apply to it is not the right thing. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have to apply the reasons and that, but maybe there's a future where it's like, where we don't care as much about the reasons because... We just kind of do. Yeah, maybe there is a... Maybe we're overcomplicating everything by saying, oh, it's this, it's that, like... Yeah, and that is theory thought, is saying, you know what, it doesn't matter. Like, what all, all that really mattered was that the circle disappeared and if we wanted it to be there, well, we shouldn't have let that happen. Mm. And the reason we didn't, and that reason we weren't able to is because we didn't know about the relationships or we weren't, had no control over the relationships. And then that's the reason we have a theory on the relationships. And now that we can just apply, you know, if we want to save, you know, a, sharks or polar bears, you know, they're, it's because we're destroying all their relationships or right. their relations are being destroyed. Right. So they're just, their lines are disappearing and disappearing and disappearing. So then the mass is just, it can't keep up anymore. Not enough lines. Because you, everything you else is still gro- is growing and growing and growing and growing. Exactly. So it just keeps getting smaller. So right, if in we, comparison. In comparison. And, and we can try and grow it again with like wildlife efforts and conservational things. You're building relationships. Building those, exactly. Building exactly. more relationships. Restoring habitats, building more connections. Exactly. Uh, and it becomes then, it becomes, and that's exactly right, what you just said. Those are relationships. Yeah. And it's actually even more than that. It's like teaching people about polar bears. Right. That's you know, just polar bear documentaries. Yeah, You're just yeah, adding yeah. more relationships to it. Um, but it also becomes on what is the most effective relationships to add? And that's the key is like, okay, we can do all these things, but which one is the right relationships to do? And that's a very interesting question. I don't necessarily have the answer to, but I think at some point we'll know the difference and value between like, you know, a documentary or wildlife effort, uh, you know, in terms of what, as a great what creates impact. a greater impact yeah, of building those lines. Yeah. yeah, because I, I, you know, sometimes when you think about 
charity work, you think about, you know, what is it better for me to do? Um, is it better for me to give my time? Uh, is it better for me to give my money? Yeah. You know, what's going to have the bigger impact?